Hey guys, it's Vani from Mrs. Mom's Homeschool. In this video, I'm gonna show you how I've been teaching my preschooler about mammals and their habitats. Give you guys some good books to use and some ideas and activities that will help your little ones learn about these topics. If you guys are new to my channel, I'm a homeschooling mom with three children, two of which are homeschooled. I have a third grader and a preschooler who are homeschooled with me. We used to do a series called Toddler Preschooler Tuesday where we focus videos on preschoolers or toddlers on Tuesdays, but we are moving that over to Mondays now. So today I want to share with you what I've been teaching my preschooler about habitats and mammals. So I teach at a homeschool co-op and I teach a class called Learning Science Through Creation. And in this, we use the Bible's creation story in Genesis to teach children about all the different aspects of creation. And last week, they learned about animals. If you ever taught little kids about different topics like mammals, amphibians, reptiles, it's a hard topic to get across for them to understand exactly what the difference is between the animals. Because to them, bugs are bugs, animals are animals, lizards are lizards, they don't know the difference. So I did find some good resources that helped them to really understand what it was I was trying to get across to them. So unfortunately, I don't have all the books that I wanted to show you guys because I already returned them to the library before I decided to make this video. But the first book that's really good to get preschoolers to understand animals is Dr. Seuss's Is a Camel a Mammal? So of course in Dr. Seuss rhyming fashion, and funny little statements. This book goes into what mammals are, how they grow hair, how they have different types of hair. They can be like hedgehogs or porcupines. It talks about that they can live in different types of habitats. It talks about the way that mammals can move. It gives them some words, some science words for them to learn like hibernation and different types of animals and it's a really good book it really helped the kids to understand what it was i was trying to get across to them as far as what a mammal was after i read that book another activity that we did was animal exercises where i had them gallop like a horse it was actually a song i made up it was if you're happy and you know it i changed it to if you're a mammal and you know it and then i would choose a mammal and then their activity so if you're a mammal and you know it scurry like a mouse roll in the mud like a pig charge like a bull kick like a donkey, jump like a kangaroo, and different things like that. After that, they had an activity where they had to make different animals on their own. So I cut out a bunch of different type of eyes, animal eyes, different mouths, different types of ears, and a circle head. And they had to glue these different uh, pieces together to create their own mammals. So here's some books that I used to teach my daughter more about the habitats. This is Life Us Borns. Look Inside Animal Homes book. It has opened the flaps to look inside all kinds of animal homes, nest and treetops, deep, dark underground burrows, under the sea, in a warm coral reef, and even in our own home. This book is called How Deep in the Ocean, Ocean Animals Habitats, where you get to journey to the depths of the ocean and meet the animals that live at different levels of the sea. This one is a little bit above the preschool age level, but it is a good picture book for you to talk about the different types of animals and things that are in the ocean habitat. The same goes for this book, which is by the same author, and it is called How High Up the Mountain, mountain animal habitats. In this book, you get to explore the regions of mountain habitats and the animals that live there, from the foothills all the way up to the mountain peaks. This is the last book in the series that I got about the rainforest. It's called How High in the Rainforest, Rainforest Animal Habitats. And you get to explore the layers of the rainforest biome and the animals that live there, from the dark forest floor, through the understory canopy, up to the emergent layer. The next book I used was Crinkle Roots Guide to Knowing Animal Habitats by Jim Arnoski. In this book, Crinkle Root takes you on a walk in the woods. He guides you through the woods to introduce the trees because he was born in one and he knows how to identify individual trees and how they're important to animals in the forest. So another thing I did 
to teach my kids about mammals I'm coming outside because my kids just came and took over my whole recording area <laughs> was I gave them stickers um, of they were actually 3d like scrapbook stickers of mammals and I had them stick it on their page and then they had to draw the habitat around it so we were able to talk about the types of animals and trees and things that were in the environment of the animal and you're able to get different kinds of books or if you have like an animal encyclopedia you could go on there and find um, help your child find different things that would be in the habitat of the mammal that they have we also created our own mammal habitat so i wanted to do like a diorama type thing or maybe even like a sensory box but i didn't have time like i just kind of started this lesson and i didn't go ahead and buy the animals ahead of time or any of the things that we needed but we did have clay so i had a clay modeling book as well and my my preschooler was interested in tide pool habitat because there was another book that we had um, i'll try to find the name for you and i'll link it below where um, it had like the animals hiding in their habitats and when you turn the page you could see the different types of animals that were there and I let her choose a habitat she wanted to recreate and she created it she chose a tide pool so we created our own little tide pool out of clay and my son helped of course because this is kind of hard for a three-year-old but it was fun for her to just try to mold the animals and what she thought they looked like and everything so it was a cute little project and we just have it set aside and saved we hot glued them onto a felt uh, blue felt piece and we just hot glued everything together so these are just a few of the unlimited amount of things that you can do to teach your children about mammals and habitats next week i'll tell you what we have been using for to we're talking about insects and bugs next week this week coming up so next week's video will be about insects and bugs so we'll go and look deeper into that in the book so i'll make sure i have everything ready for you guys so that you can see um and that's it thank you guys so much for watching hope you enjoyed this little video on wednesdays we will be having videos on my series which this week is getting your life to run on autopilot we talk about bedtime routines for parent for the mother and the children morning routines for both of us chores screen time limits uh having you know tackling to-do lists and um, all kinds of things that that we need as mothers homeschoolers or not and then on fridays i'm gonna have some homeschool with me videos um and some curriculum reviews and things like that so make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell for more content thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you next time